In this video, I'm going to go through a more detailed explanation of our custom stylized watermark video. So this is sort of an updated version of that. So let's just dive right in and I'm going to basically make a custom stylized watermark and save that as a tool preset. That way all you need to do is just pick it out of the tool presets and then you don't have to worry about adding any of the styles again after the fact. So I'm going to start by using some text and we're going to convert that to a custom shape. So I'm going to get out the type tool. I'm going to enter some text. It doesn't really matter what color the text is at this point. Commit that. I'm going to go over here, my layers palette. Double click this to let's go ahead and add some effects to it. And I'm going to take the fill opacity, drop that all the way down to zero. Maybe we'll add a slight drop shadow here. And maybe just a quick bevel and emboss. Set that to chisel hard and then click OK. So right now it's not much, just sort of a transparent watermark. Now I'm going to right click on the text layer and it's unfortunately the menus are slightly off the screen but down here towards the middle it says convert to shape so i'm going to click that that's actually going to convert the text to a shape as you can see it's now a vector mask so my next step is to actually define this as a custom shape so with the vector mask selected go to edit down to define custom shape and I'll call this 2009 EPP then click OK now the next step is actually pretty crucial you want to press U to select the custom shape tool and make sure that the shape that's actually currently being used is the last one that we just created because now when we create our tool preset, it's going to take the current shape and style and basically it's going to take this current custom shape and the style and that's going to become the tool preset. So now we go over to our tool presets here and if yours isn't visible, you can go up to window, it's down towards the bottom, tool presets. And make sure that you are currently have selected the custom shape tool, then click here. Click New Tool Preset. Now I'll just give this the same name, 2009 EPP, and then click OK. Now I'll drop this to the trash, and we'll just select any kind of tool right now just to kind of get off that and notice that when we go back and go into our tool presets, if I select this, this preset, which we just made, Notice it changes to the custom shape tool. It changes to the shape that we created and defined from our text. And also it uses that style. So all I need to do is close that, is drag out that shape. And I get those styles already applied. So I have this nice custom stylized watermark. So the main thing is after you add your styles that you want to save, make sure that your current tool is the custom shape tool and that you actually have to define this as a custom shape because when you create your tool preset it's going to take what's the current settings right here and it's going to create that as the preset. Notice if I choose this starburst color target here it changes to the custom shape using this and this style. So that is the important part so you do have to in fact define it, your text as a custom shape after you've converted it to a shape. And then make sure the custom shape tool is still selected and you're using that current shape and then define that as the tool preset. 